Hey, how in the world are you doing? So I just went and got my hair cut. It was getting a little long, getting shaggy. So <clears throat> I, I actually went and there was just a little bit of snow flying. Um, and I, as a matter of fact, I was driving out of our neighborhood down the, like the golf course was on the left hand side. And I did a little video driving down that side road. What's up, Tiffany, Brad, Laura, Richie Bello? How you guys doing? So I discovered something. I went down, got a haircut, stopped in, grabbed a bite to eat. And then I was like, okay, I was talking to, hey, what's up, Richie? Cody, how's it going? Sandy, John Harrington. So I went down, I was driving back. All right, well, I went in to get something to eat. I was talking to my uncle on, for some reason, he uses the WhatsApp. What's up? What's, what's it called? WhatsApp? What's, is that it? WhatsApp? So, um, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, hey, listen, for real, um, it's crazy. What's up, Michael Bell? So, I went in, I saw so I closed the, or I unplugged my charger from the phone. I grabbed my phone. I go in to get a bite to eat. And I, I went to look at it while I was waiting in line and it wouldn't turn on. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I'm like, okay, it's done that before. And then like, you just wait a couple minutes and hit the power button again. And it'll come on. Well, it would not come on. No matter what I did, it would not come on. And so I'm like, oh, great. Now I got to drive 45 minutes back home to in a snowstorm with four inches or so of snow on the roads. It's insane. Dr. Doug McCloy, what's up? Scott Simons, Greg Webb. So I'm driving home and it's, it's bad. And I'm like literally talking to my phone going, what's your problem, dude? Why won't you turn on? Like, and I'm sliding on the high. It was hor. It was. A, it's. This is a bad snowstorm we got going on here tonight. They're saying we could have up to about six inches or so. It's. I think we're getting close to that already. But anyway, so um, my phone wouldn't turn on. I get home, and I'm like, I can't believe this. My phone will not turn on. I told my wife. And she's like, what? And I'm like, it won't turn on. Like, it won't turn on. It just, I was talking to Uncle Harold on WhatsApp and and then it crashed. And so um, there's, a, there, there's a reason for that. Sometimes the software locks up and it'll go to a black screen and it looks like it's off when it's actually not completely off. It's just locked, like it's frozen. The software will freeze. I have a feeling that the, the WhatsApp caused it. And so um, I got on YouTube, immediately found a video, three minute video, and the way that you fix it is actually really, really simple. Wish I would have known this. I could have easily done this while driving even in the treacherous snowstorm, but what you do is you hit, if, if you ever, if your iPhone ever goes black and it will not power up, like it, you'd like, no matter what you do, that just means the software is frozen probably. And all you do is you hit the up arrow button right here, hit the, you hit it once, hit the down arrow, and then you press and hold the, the power button for up to about 30 seconds. And then you'll see that you'll see the uh, Apple logo reappear. And that's it. And it came right back on. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I just just risked death with no phone. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, okay, I'm exaggerating, but I'm telling you the roads are really, really bad. And I was like, I can't believe this. I'm like driving in this storm and I have no cell phone at all. You have a eye thing. So that like, if that ever happens to you, you hit the volume up, the volume down, and then, and you don't hold them. You just hit the up, up volume, down volume, and then you press and hold the power button for up to 30 seconds. I think I held it for about 10 or 15 seconds after you hit the, the volume up, volume down, 
and then press and hold the power button and your iPhone will turn back on. If that doesn't work, then, and you're, you're in, you're driving in four or five inches of snow and sliding all over the road, you roll your window down and you throw the iPhone out the window and go back and find it the next day. I'm kidding. Don't do that. I, I'm just, it's crazy that, that, that it, it did that. Like it's, it's, it's nuts. I, I hate that. Like I, I, I was like, I literally had to turn the radio on. <laughs> I know ne I never listen to the radio. I'm always listening to a podcast or something if I'm driving or an audio book. And I had to listen to the radio because I was talking to the phone and it wasn't responding. And like it was bl it was blacked out like the screen wouldn't do anything. So anyway, some useful information. Of course, it's on YouTube. But if you don't have access to YouTube, does you no good. And I have some friends that are in law enforcement on here right now. Not that I would watch YouTube while driving, for the record. Um, but, like, I may have wanted to pull up YouTube when I couldn't figure out how to turn my phone on. It was literally not working. Drove me crazy. But anyway, as soon as I got home, I I looked it up. <laughs> I see I see my LE buddies on here. I see you guys. I see you. You're just waiting on me to watch YouTube while driving, aren't you? Um, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I so like it really, I was like, man, I've heard of people like saying their phone bricked or something, and um no, I needed to go get a haircut. I went and got a haircut. There was only a little bit of snow on the ground when I left. It was after I got there, got my haircut, and like I had to send it back to Apple and they disposed. Really? <laughs> Eric, Eric Overly, he's, he's harassing me. There's a, there's a law enforcement guy harassing me, you guys. Your witnesses. <laughs> Uh, anyway, like, dude, if, if your phone ever does that where the screen goes black and you can't get it, it seems like it won't turn on. That's what the, the issue is. Chris Saracino, how you doing, man? Hey, Robert Brooker, Larry Schneider, how's it going? So like, if it, if it won't come on and it's just a, a black screen, hit the up, the up volume up button, don't hold it. Just hit the button and then hit the down button and then press and hold the power button on the side. It takes 30 seconds or less. I think I held it, like I said, for 10 or 15 seconds and, and that fixed it. I saw the Apple logo pop up on the screen and I let a big old deep breath out, a sigh of relief, so. That's how you fix that. So I hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you're having a great Saturday evening. And um, and what would normally take me about 25, 30 minutes, like it, it literally was an hour and a half drive in the snow. It was crazy. But anyway, everybody be safe if you're out there in the snow. My issue was different. It was stuck on the white Apple logo. Wow. No kidding. Wow. Um, yeah, I was a little freaked out, not gonna lie, because I've heard of that, where you have to, where your phone bricks or whatever, and you just have to send it in, they send you a new one, I'm like, but I do have an extra, I have an extra phone that we, we discovered recently in a drawer, it's got a cracked screen, this was my wife's, did I miss the PSA? Yes, you missed the PSA, dude, you missed it. Um, I was, my phone went black and would not turn back on. It wouldn't come on. Like it would not come on. And so I, I finally after, uh, anyway, it was, it's a long story, but I got home and looked it up on YouTube. If your phone ever goes black and, and you can't get the screen to come on, you press the, you, you hit the, um, up volume button right there hit the up volume once and then hit the down and then you press and hold the power button on the other side for 30 seconds and and it's it could be less but whenever the apple logo appears on the screen that means it is and i forget i think they call it a hard reset or something like that but um then it comes back on it was crazy 
I, I'm like, that would have been useful information had I known that driving, like, with no phone. Like, I had to listen to the radio. Oh, like, what? I don't, I don't listen to the radio. I hate listening to the radio. I'd rather listen to, to, to a book or a, you know, a, a podcast, learn something, not listen to people talk about the government shutdown. Just saying. All right, listen, guys, have a great night. Thanks for hopping on here. Just wanted to share that information with you. Peace. iPhones control alt delete. That's it right there. Volume up, volume down, hold the power button. That that literally is it. That's the control alt delete for the iPhone. That is right. What's up, Glenn? What's up? Darn commercials are annoying. <laughs> they are, dude. They are. Music, what is it? I know no, it was on 610 radio, the A an AM station my wife listens to, and I can't stand listening to the news. I just it's depressing. Like, who cares? Like, they're going, well, there's a bad snowstorm out. It's the biggest one of the entire year in, in, in Ohio. And I'm like, I know that. I'm driving in it, you morons. Why are you telling me that? Like, then they're like, and the government is shut down. I'm like, knew that. I knew that, too. Like, it's just, I, I don't know. Poison. Who buys radio ads? Right. Like, I don't put that poison in my head, but like, I had no choice. Now I'm infected with that radio poison. Ooh. Like, I'd have rather been listening to a podcast or a book, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll meditate and get that juju off of me. So that's what you do. That's what you do. If your iPhone screen goes blank, it's black, and you can't get it to come on for whatever reason. And I knew that it wasn't my battery. I knew the battery was fine. It just wouldn't come on. I'm like, what is going on? <clears throat> so you hit the volume up one time, you press it in, let go, hit the volume down, press it in, let go, and then immediately press and hold the power button on the other side. And like Sandy said, that is Control-Alt-Delete for the iPhone, it does a hard reset and boom, came right back on. Now, I didn't watch the rest of the video. There was another, they said, now if that doesn't work, then you have to go a little deeper. I I, I didn't, I, I was like, it worked, bye. And I got rid of the, the YouTube video. I probably should have watched the rest of it just in case that doesn't work, but it worked, so. Um, and I don't, maybe I'll go back and watch the rest of that video. But anyway, it's it's good information to have. Because honestly, had I known that all you do is hit the volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button, I wouldn't have been without a phone for at the hour and a half or whatever drive home. So anyway, so that's what you do. If you missed it, go back and watch the replay. What's up, James Springer, Jack Branch? What's going on, dude? So anyway, that's it. You guys have an awesome night. Thanks for popping on. I'll see you. Peace.